Hello, so I am here at Layman's. Uh, so it's Layman's Hardware Store. It is the coolest store ever. I've gotten their catalog for probably 20 years and I've always wanted to go here. So I'm super excited and I'm gonna show you guys around. layman's because I used to get their catalog and I was always fascinated with the Amish and how to do things the old-fashioned way always wanted to live off-grid not have any electric any plumbing nothing this was way before off-grid even became a thing and so when I found the layman's catalog I was super excited because I thought oh this is so cool I can do all these things and not have to have water or power or electricity so I'm going to tell you a little bit about Layman's Hardware. It's located in Kidron, Ohio, and it specializes in products that are used by the Amish. And it's become known worldwide as a source for everything non-electric, non-electric goods of every single kind. They now have a 35,000 square foot facility that they tout themselves as a low-tech superstore. They also say the purveyor of historical technology, <laughs> but their main motto is simple products for a simpler life, and that's really what they have, everything. Their store is cool just to go see in itself. It's a three-quarter mile long structure that is made up of the remnants of a log cabin and three pre-Civil War buildings, including a hand-hewn barn. It's a really popular tourist destination now because there is just so many things in the store and it is just absolutely cool to go see all the cool things that they have. So Jay Lehman founded Lehman's Hardware and he founded it to help with the Amish to find the things that they would need. Now if you don't know Amish only buy things like cast iron and black those kinds of things they don't use colors those types of things so Lehman's has to do special orders for the Amish but they sell enough of them because there's so many and it's so hard to find that they're able to do that. So you can find cool things like that. One thing that's interesting about Layman's is I was doing a little bit of history on it and in the 1973 oil crisis, it really helped put them on the map. And then every time there's a new disaster, Layman's gets known again and I have to say, it really is good to be prepped for some of these things and to be ready. And they have all the things that you need there to help if there's a blackout, no electricity, no gas, that kind of thing, to help you get through. And so Layman's is really known as a resource for homesteaders, missionaries, environmentalists, survivalists, those kinds of things. People who want to do a simple living without technology but still be able to you know, function in life. What's so cool about the store is they have all kinds of crazy things you didn't even know were made anymore. So like enamel pots and enamel bakeware. They have things like hundreds and hundreds and thousands of cookie cutters, of candy flavorings, they have grain mills, wood stoves, soap, all kinds of lanterns and things for uh, lighting without electricity, kerosene lamps. They have wooden drying racks, which are the best ever. I love drying racks and I would have loved to have get, gotten this huge one. Um, they have old fashioned washing machines and wash tubs, clothespin bags, washing boards. Then they have a huge candy section. And I mean they have tons and tons and tons of old-fashioned candies. It's the coolest thing ever. Then they also have lots of cool things like salsas and jams and jellies made by the Amish. They had things like peach mango salsa. It was super delicious. The other cool thing about Layman's is that they have antiques in their store. They have them everywhere. If you go in there, make sure you look up because on every wall up above, they 
have antique after antique, actual period pieces on, dis on display throughout the whole store. And they even have an old fashioned buggy, which of course I had to take a picture with. One of my favorite parts was an old fashioned soda shop and they had more than 300 kinds of sodas and over 70 kinds of root beer. Oh, it was the coolest thing ever. I just absolutely loved it. So I hope you guys will go check out Layman's. I absolutely love them. At least go check out their website if you're ever in Ohio or can drive by Kindred in Ohio. It was definitely worth the two hour drive out of Ellie and I's way on our trip to go check it out. The coolest store ever. I thought I had died and gone to heaven. Check it out. Their stuff is great and it lasts a long time. And even if a part breaks, they will help you replace it. So guys, please go check out Layman's. We had a blast. We really enjoyed their store. still on the search for the perfect dish towel and I don't know if these would work or not. I hate to buy them. They look like they'd be nice but I don't know. I just cannot find dish towels that will soak the water up instead of slosh the water around. And no, I don't use fabric softener so I know that's not it. I don't know what my problem is. Cool oil cloth aprons. They're slick. Stuff just slides off. Isn't that cool? I love that blue one. So these are the coolest 3D carvings ever. But they are cool. He carved these 3D out of wood. It's so neat. Wow. This guy is talented. Okay, so I have to say, these this retro refrigerator, dishwasher, and stove set is on my when we get rich list. This is the coolest thing ever. Wouldn't you love to have a kitchen with these? Oh, 
I just about died. Happy anniversary to me, Mike. 